told that rich young ruler, he said, go sell all you have, give it to the poor. That shows the heart. I'm not after your money. Now, I can't say that for some others. But they are after it. But that does not make the prosperity message no good. It's just like other people. They, there's, there's dishonest people in every, everything there is. There's dishonest lawyers and doctors and, and mechanics and everybody. There's dishonest people in any of those things if you be around many of them. And then there's some good honest ones. Amen. And why? Somebody said, well, why did Jesus tell him to do that for him? Why did he tell him to get rid of everything he had, Herb? Well, he must not, he must not have wanted him to have it. Now, you can't read that in that. If you do, you'll be adding to the Scripture. Can you? He said, and he said, now I'm going to give you something to do. He said, now, you got your hand, you got a lot of irons in the fire. You're a busy man. I want to get you unbusy so you can come and follow me. Now you go get rid of all these irons that you've got in the fire, as the old saying is. Because you ain't going to be able to do this if you come and follow me. Now go give it away. Trust me and let's go. There wasn't no sign that Jesus didn't want him to have anything. And he also said, and, and you'll lay your treasures up in heaven. You'll have treasures in heaven. <laughs> well, glory to God forevermore. Glory to God forevermore. Praise the Lord. Well, we're going to quit. We appreciate everybody that's, that is listening. And I really mean that. God bless you this morning, today, whenever you may be hearing this message. Let the Lord bless you with these things. Let the Lord help you. Let's every one of us examine ourselves. That's not going to hurt us, is it? No. Pride to stand in your way if you don't watch it. Get that out of the way quick and just say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sure about my standing, where I stand, the things I stand on. And let's make sure that they are Always pointing to Him. Always. Father, we love you today and we thank you so much. We give you praise and glory. Your precious will. Thank you, Lord, to be done. If you don't know Jesus today, maybe you're listening. Maybe the Lord's dealing All you got to do is believe in Him. Believe on the Lord, Jesus Christ, and you'll be saved. Down in your heart, believe it. Believe that God raised, give him, raised him from the dead for you. Believe it. And then confess it and say, Lord, come in, come into my life now and change me. Save me. He will. If you'll do that, he will save you. And come on in to the kingdom of God. Amen. Some of you that's maybe you're out, you're cold, maybe. You've not been doing what the Lord wants you to do come on back say Lord I'm sorry forgive me he will he said he would he said the blood of Jesus would cleanse you from all unrighteousness give your heart to him rededicate your life to him and say Lord here I am use me now I love you there's no, other, there's no greater thing than you now be Lord of my life and let him be alright till next week I'm Kenneth Gross along with my wife Brenda. This has been God's Word for today.